Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a coffee mug cake. Here I have some confetti cake cut into circles with a three inch round cutter, and I'm stacking them between layers of green buttercream. After last week's dinosaur cake, which was definitely a more advanced cake, I decided this week that I would make a cake that is a bit more simple, but still very realistic. A cake doesn't have to be incredibly difficult in order to look realistic. And this mug is a great example of that. It's gonna look just like a real mug. After slathering some buttercream onto the cake, I'm smoothing out the sides with a scraper and an offset spatula. The key is to try your best to line up the scraper with the cake board to create a 90 degree angle. That way you know your sides are nice and straight. Now I take some rolled out modeling chocolate and I cut it to the size of the cake. This chocolate is slightly cooler than room temperature so that I can easily handle it and I can let some of that hang over the top without it flopping over. We'll come back to that overhang in just a bit. I use a stencil to lightly trace my design onto the cake. Then I go in with food color and I paint in the colored areas of my logo first. The colored areas are super light, so by adding the black outline after, it's going to help keep the black from smearing and mixing in with the colored areas. This mug can be made using any design you want, but if you like this one, we have these mugs for sale right now in our Teespring store, so definitely check that out. With another piece of modeling chocolate, I'm making a handle. Then I let it set and get back to room temperature, and then I attach it to the mug. If the chocolate handle is a bit too soft, I just place it in the fridge to firm up for a few seconds before I apply it to the mug cake. I want this mug to look like it's filled with coffee, so I'm pouring some chocolate ganache on the top. For me, this isn't quite realistic enough. So I'm gonna use some jello. I happen to have some watermelon jello on hand, so I'm making it according to the directions on the box. And obviously this jello is red, so to make it brown, I just mix in the complementary color, which is green. If I just added brown to the red, it would end up looking more like a maroon, which is not the color of coffee. At least not my coffee. Then I place the cake in the fridge and I let that jello cool overnight. And there you have it, a Side Surf Cake Studio mug cake. If you like this cake, like this video, and subscribe to this channel because we post a new one every week. You can get this mug and other fun Side Surf merch in our Teespring store. There's a link in the description, so shop away.